today I have the pleasure of speaking with a very esteemed colleague of mine, Bundeep, about Finecchia, a new CSC, relatively new CSC listing. Would that be correct? Sure, particularly given the, uh, the change in our business model a few years ago. And of course, you're hitting the ground running in the new year. Tell us what is Finecchia and what should investors anticipate from you? Thanks again, Tracy. I think that the best way to describe Finecchia is a proxy for exposure and investment in this emerging digital asset economy. We represent a liquid listed security that has an underlying exposure to this emerging Web 3.0 multiverse um, economy of digital assets. Of course, you have great comfort in digital media assets in general, and you're providing some research as well, a uh, regular basis. Would that also be correct? I think the strength of a lot of institutions lies in one, it's talent and people, and two, the depth of its research, because from that you can build analysis, predict trends, and, and make calculated bets. So for us, having an in-house research team and talented individuals with experience and a high degree of enthusiasm is, is super important, and it's probably some of our, our, our secret sauce. So now that you're, you're back kind of beating the drums for Finecchia, can you tell us what we should anticipate as shareholders moving forward into 2023, Bundy? Well, we have some very ambitious plans for this year, and that's the reason why we closed a very successful private placement in 2022 that was about 25% higher than our initial $4 million target. And part of what the proceeds will go towards are, are some products that we want to launch in the 2023 calendar year. You've seen the advent of exchange traded funds in uh, Canada, which are backed by crypto assets. What you've not seen is a lot of innovation around them. They tend to be plain vanilla crypto exposure exchange traded funds. What we want to do is take it to the next generation, which basically brings innovation to this product and provides not only exposure to the asset appreciation of such cryptocurrencies, but also helps you generate yield along the way. So if you can find cryptocurrencies that are yield generating, which in this market is quite important, that plays to something called decentralized finance or DeFi uh, to generate such yield, then you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting yield no matter what the price, and you're getting the price appreciation should the price move up. So we're looking very seriously at some products that bring the best of this world, both worlds, and brings innovation to the space. The second area we're looking at is NFTs, but not NFTs as you would understand them to be in terms of art NFTs or board eight style NFTs. We're looking very specifically at music NFTs. And the reason for that is that people understand music. People don't necessarily understand art, but people love music. And music is something that's set to double in terms of global revenue over the next eight years from where it was five years ago. That means that there's going to be a proliferation of music across devices. This is ultimately a digital media, to your point about digital media assets. If we can create a partial ownership of music tracks through a tokenized version of those assets, you can then have a demo democratic participation of music ownership. I, you and I could own part of a track that gives us one, a certain amount of bragging rights to say, hey, I'm a part owner in this track when you hear it playing or you see it on TV. And second, you get income because music generates royalties. And if you're a part owner in a music track, guess what? You're going to be a part recipient of those royalty streams. So we're looking at NFTs in the music world precisely for that reason, because it's more understood. It's people are well worse with it, and it does have an income generating side. And second, of course, brings some innovation to this emerging exchange traded product um, asset class of crypto cryptocurrencies. So if I hear you correct, we're talking about uh, digital media assets, research, and of course, NFTs, music NFTs. Is that correct? That's correct. And com combination of that plus our own private investments that are made sort of from the company's balance sheet, which will continue, should really give investors a kind of 360 exposure to this emerging asset class of cryptocurrencies and crypto assets. And as a listed company, people know that we're transparent, regulated, and they're, and of course, liquid. So it's a lot easier to participate in this economy than trying to figure out what's really going on and where. 
Well, Bundy, welcome back. It's nice to see you. And we're looking forward to seeing what Finekia does in 2023. Oh, we have lots coming your way. So watch the space and I'm sure we'll be talking a lot more this year. Thank you again, Tracy.